For 50 years, Nike has been helping runners go fast. From the Nike Pegasus to the Air Zoom Alpha Fly, Nike has the most complete running shoe lineup. However, with so many shoes and varying technologies, it can be confusing which is right for you. In this video, you'll learn which shoes are best for training and or racing. Today, let's explore Nike Running Shoes 2022. Start with the Nike Pegasus 39. This is primarily a training shoe. It works best for those training for 100 meters through 5K and for workouts such as runs under an hour and interval training. Think of this as the Frank's Red Hot Sauce of running shoes. You can throw any workout at it. Everyone from a high school hopeful, Olympic champion, weekend warriors can find something to enjoy. Thanks to its primarily React midsole, which offers a very durable ride along with air zoom units, the versatility of this shoe can be used for training for the 100 meter dash through the marathon. Also, thanks to the waffle outsole pattern, you can feel comfortable running on pretty much any surface. All for the price of $130 and it's frequently on sale for less than $100. This is a can't miss pickup. Zoomax Streetfly, created primarily for racing 5Ks and 10Ks. If I want to go fast with a running shoe, this would be it. Thanks to the Zoomax midsole with a modest carbon shank, you'll notice great ground contact without being fully flat to the ground. Also, thanks to its lightweight, it somewhat disappears on your feet when you're running fast. I recommend this shoe for racing as well as interval training such as 100 meters through 1K repeats. Also ran my fastest 5K of 2022 in this running shoe. All for the price of $160, it's a great option if you want a speed training slash racing shoe. Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent 2, AKA Air Kipchoge. This is primarily a marathon racing shoe. If you're looking for an elite experience, even if you're an amateur runner, into the Nike Alpha Fly. At this point, I think Kipchoge could break the marathon world record in flip flops, but without having that to test out, this is the shoe that he's currently wearing. Coming in at $275, you're definitely paying for an elite experience. Featuring ZoomX foam, air zoom units, a full carbon fiber plate. The only thing missing from this shoe is inserts for jet fuel. You're getting everything that Nike has to offer in terms of being a fast shoe. Although it's a little heavier than the previous version, the cozy feel of the ZoomX makes it feel like you could run in this shoe for hours. And while I did fall short of running a marathon in this shoe, I have spent several two hour plus and even a three hour run in this shoe, and I can't imagine running a marathon in something beyond this. ZoomX Invincible Run Fly Knit 2. This is a training shoe and was my running shoe of the year last year. And that's because for runs over an hour or just when you want a highly cushioned run, this is what you should go for. Consider this the S tier of max cushioning when it comes to running shoes. Featuring the most ZoomX foam of any shoe in the lineup, this is also a very durable option and I've ran well over 300 plus miles in several pairs. The upper is also very cozy, which is what you want in a shoe that you're gonna spend a lot of time and miles in. The outsole is also very unique and other than a few spots along the heel where I tend to put more pressure, it's a very durable option. $180 might seem high, but don't trip. You can either buy the previous version because the second version doesn't change that much or wait a little bit and purchase this year's version for a discounted price. As a matter of fact, this pair right here, I bought $440 directly on Nike's website. React Infinity Run Flyknit 3. This is a training shoe. This is the shoe that I've recommended the most over the last few years. Thanks to the full Zoom React midsole with a wide base and rocket construction, this is a great option if you're starting running and want a shoe that'll go the distance, but also take you to the gym or perhaps walk around in for multiple hours. This shoe to me is very underrated and honestly believe that if not for the pandemic, when the shoe was going to get a major launch alongside LA 13.1, I believe it's a shoe that will eventually rival that of the Pegasus just due to its broader appeal. Zoomax Vaporfly Next Percent 2. This is the most versatile racing option that Nike has created from the road mile through marathon race. If you only wanna own one pair of Nike running shoes, this is the one I suggest. This is the shoe that helped usher in the super shoe era carbon fiber plated shoes is the one that got the most controversy. And that's due to one, it begins with the overall midsole being ZoomX throughout. It's the most responsive foam that Nike has available, a carbon fiber plate, which still has yet to be fully duplicated. And not to mention in general, when it comes to ZoomX, what you're gonna get is that fresh feeling after the fact, which leads to your ability to train harder during sessions, which means that when you come into race day, you're more likely to perform at the highest level possible. And although it's been out for two years, there has been a few colorways released this year, and so I want to include it in the overall lineup. Usually priced at $250, however, you spend some time on Nike website, your favorite running shoe website, I've seen these as low as $180. And so hands down, if you buy a pair of these for $180, not only are you getting a shoe that you can do your day-to-day -day workouts in, you can also race in it, your long runs, whatever it is that you wanna do, and if you can get it for that price, it's absolutely a must buy. It's to date still my favorite Nike running shoe. My personal best for the 5K through the half marathon are all in this shoe.
Now, if you wanna get deeper into any one of these shoes, I've got a full playlist for you here. And if you wanna check something else out, check this out. I'll see you next time. Jordan Thomas, peace.